Ask Reddit Rich people of Reddit who married someone significantly poorer, what surprised you about their previous way of life? Making financial decisions based around the three paycheck month. If you're paid every two weeks, most months you get two paychecks, and all of your monthly bills and budgeting is based on those two paychecks. But twice a year there are three paydays in a month, and that's when you can actually solve problems. That's when you can get the car registered, or fix the dryer, or get the cat spayed. The other 10 months you're doing maintenance and trying to scrape by. Three paycheck months you can actually try to fix problems. More of a funny incident, but I was the poor one. My husband, at the time still boyfriend, took me out to a very nice restaurant. Waiter asked if I want pepper on my Caesar salad that was just made table side. I said sure and he goes about it. Thing is, I didn't know you had to say stop. My husband slowly realizes this, but decides to see it play out. He did eventually say that I need to say stop, I just thought a Caesar was had this way as it was my first time even eating a salad that wasn't just iceberg and ranch dressing. It still tasted fine, just a little bit too much pepper haha. -ha. When the family had people over for dinner, if they ended the prayer before the meal with FHP, Amen. It was a signal to let the children know that they don't have enough food for everyone, so take smaller servings and let the guests get a regular serving. FHB equals family, hold back. They were always generous to their friends and didn't let their lack of funds embarrass themselves when doing so. Rich people of Reddit who want to marry someone significantly poorer, hello. Edit, figures my most upvoted comment on Reddit is me being a gold digger, but I will take it as a win, since I got gold. Honestly, food insecurity. When we were first married she would get visibly uneasy if the food in the house was running low. She never overate or anything, she was just always concerned about it. A lot of times when she was younger, she went hungry. On the humorous side though, she hates camping. Her answer is always the same, I camped because it was fun, she camped because they couldn't afford hotels. She and her mother lived with her grandfather to not be homeless because her grandfather owned a house. She was putting community college payments on her credit card and building debt with it. I paid off her credit cards when we were dating and she cried from me being so nice, it was only like 1,300 bucks. I bought a condo, then we got married, then we bought a house. I never really considered myself rich until I started dating her and learned that a trip to Wendy's was a treat. I grew up middle class, and we are currently middle class, hey. My wife was born and raised in the Soviet Union. She still goes crazy for fresh fruit like it's the most extravagant luxury. The prevailing mindset in his community growing up that insurance was something only rich people had. Not health insurance, mind you, well, not just health insurance. Auto insurance. Going without it was a way of life for most everyone he knew. I am on the other side as I married a girl from a rich family. Although we both earn the same and I tend to worry about money slash savings slash future, through the years I have realized that she worries less about it and still saves more and spends less than me. I feel like coming from a lower middle class family makes me think about saving more but at the same time I spend money on things as I could not have them all before I got my own job. Sandwiches when I made him a sandwich I only put one thin slice of meat in it. He couldn't believe that was how I had sandwiches growing up. I am not well off but my stepfather is. I was raised by a single mom who spent money on everything and bills were always behind. She just couldn't manage her money at all. In her 50s she met and married a multimillionaire. We are in middle America so that goes further than maybe in a lot of areas. 
they have given themselves $10,000 a month budget to live on, living on interest. Own their home. Anyway once my mom met him and they got all her finance situated and paid off she won't spend a penny. He spends like it is going out of style. He has actually begged me to take her shopping to get clothes and accessories. She won't do it. She spent more when she was a single mom with nothing. It makes no sense to me. At least buy a new outfit. She is hell-bent to not use a penny of his money. They barely even have any groceries. If they have anything it is because he buys it for them. She is a retired nurse that gets a retirement and SS but she won't spend anything. She lives poorer now than any other time in her life. I didn't marry this woman, but when we started dating, she always wanted to chill at my place, never hers. Which was fine. But she gained 35 pounds in just like a few months of dating. She was 100 pounds when we started dating, not that it was a bad thing. 1. I am a chubby man and 2. I was just glad she wasn't pregnant. Anyway, turns out her family couldn't like, afford dinner sometimes. So suddenly she had a place to eat every night and gorged herself. My partner and I are both poor, but different kinds of poor, she's never been homeless or not had enough to eat while I have. She's extremely frugal and hates buying anything we don't need. I feel a desperate need to stock up if we have any extra money and it's a fight for me not to fill our house with canned and dry goods in case we don't have enough money to buy food next month for some reason. It makes no sense but my instinct is to hoard food because there just was never enough of it around growing up. I fell in love with my UNI best friend who really didn't have any money. When I got a job, for my birthday I decided to plan a holiday and offered to bring him along. It didn't even occur to me that this was his first ever holiday he'd ever taken. His family could never afford it growing up, and he'd never really thought to do it as an adult. Edit, rip inbox, thank you all for the love and support. I'm from an upper middle class American family and my husband is from a poor assy Asian family. It is hard for me to wrap my head around how poor they really were when he was growing up. He told me about eating only rice with sugar for meals because they couldn't afford meat. They were probably living off less than 50 cents per day for a family of five at times. I'm not rich at all but my husband came from a very poor Mexican village. He told me he used a shower outside, because there was no in-house plumbing, and used leaves as toilet paper. I mean, there's poor, and there's my husband's previous life poor. He's been living in the US for 12 years now but when we first met it was so interesting seeing life through his childlike eyes. Going to the cinema was a huge event for him. Heating food up in a microwave was a totally foreign concept and staying at fancy hotels when we went on vacation was like whoa. I still see him surprised by things now and then and it just reminds me how much I take my middle status class for granted. <laughs> Hamburger helper. She hates it because it would be her meal 5x a week growing up. I had never even seen HH before I went to college and love that stuff. 10 for $10 deals are awesome. My so said today I made rent meaning today I've earned enough, accumulated enough to pay the rent and I realize that this is a monthly accomplishment to someone with no fixed income, salary. One of my exes could pull in a lot of money, easily twice or thrice what I could. He was so incredibly bad at saving this money. Down to, say, setting himself up as a company to avoid paying higher rate of tax but then paying a large amount each month to an accounting company to handle his taxes, which he'd do himself anyway because he didn't trust them to get it right. He'd pay for taxis from one end of the city to another or hire cars rather than use public transport. Flights cancelled. Book new ones, never bother to claim back on insurance. Buy a sports car, wreck it, sell it for scrap. He'd work contracts and then take time off to work on his own startup, 
but spend every weekend just going out and buying drugs and booze. I thought it was really fun and wild at first, haha, money really means nothing to you, but when we became a long-term couple I started feeling like his mother. Man, will you not just fill out the insurance paperwork? Not rich but with a partner who was raised by a teen mom and grew up poor. Sometimes I just want rice and vegetables for dinner. That's a no from her. She won't go back. I was with a girl for a while who grew up in a pretty broken home. Still surprises me just how bad her spending habits are. She racks up credit card debt like it's nothing. My husband grew up in a family where they were comfortable but on a strict budget. Six kids and mom on disability. My family had no budget. One day we were at the grocery store and he always insists on walking up and down every aisle. I finally lost it because he was taking so long and asked him why he did it. Growing up we could only spend $100 a week on groceries for all of us. I always had to put what I wanted back because we couldn't afford it. Now I can afford whatever I want so I like to look at everything I could have. Took him 10 years to tell me this. I felt like a terrible person. Edit, thanks for the silver kind homies. Edit number 2, I've had a few people, very few, comment that $100 a week is a huge budget and how is that a stretch? We live in a city with an extremely high cost of living. It's in the top 30 in the world. Getting a family of four fed for that much weekly would be a huge stretch here and his family did an amazing job. She lived in the desert without air conditioning. Long-term dating. Pets. I was always surprised by the number of pets she and her family had living in the trailer and how much of a share of their income they spent on them. Credit cards were avoided. For me growing up, we were encouraged to get a credit card in our name and use it as much as possible in order to build credit. There was always money to pay it off each month, so it made sense to 1, build credit and 2, collect airline miles or whatever the reward was back in the day. When we got together, she always used cash or a debit card. She had a credit card for emergencies and avoided using it otherwise. It took a long time to get her over her aversion, skepticism, we were fortunate to have two good paying jobs though it also taught me a healthy appreciation for what it means to have a financial cushion. I was adopted at age 7. I lived in extreme poverty and then all of a sudden I lived with a doctor who bought gifts for birthdays and Christmas. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know you could go to the store to get food. I just thought you went to the church and had to pray before they give you a bag of food. I dated a one percenter briefly, she was surprised I willingly went inside fast food restaurants. Edit, since people are saying one percent is still a huge range in income I just looked up her dad he pulls in ten million dollars a year. Not super rich by any means but my husband said he'll always be surprised about the following. How I lived off of 13k in 2011 resiliency to survive financially and pursue my dreams of being he first college graduate. How I didn't know what spinach was or tasted like until our first few dates, in addition to hella other leafy greens. Edited formatting and grammar sorry guys. He was making good money but came from a poor family. One thing that surprised me was the lack of budgeting, no knowledge of a 401k slash Roth IRA, retirement seemed like something that he'd never get to do. So even though he made good money he was starting to rack up credit card debt. Now he's much better at it than I am. He adores budgeting and looks forward to FIRE. Edit, FIRE is financial independence. Retire early there's a sub attached to this idea r slash financial independence. Sorry about the confusion. My experience is from the opposite perspective, I was the poor one. It absolutely floored me how my wife acts when something broke like a car, 
appliances, clothes, etc. as a child living below the poverty line, replacing a tire or other necessities was a disaster, requiring tricky trade-offs in the budget or just plain acceptance of just how boned you were. When my wife's phone broke, I went into full panic mode while she shrugged and said, we can just a new one this afternoon. And then we did. Edit, wow, I have received a lot of responses on this. By far my most upvoted comment. You guys made my day, thank you. I have seen a few repair it comments. Like many of you, I am also a Picasso, MacGyver of the duct tape and trash bag world. This skill helped me break into IT. Sadly, the phone was beyond repair. Trust me, if I could have fixed it, I would have. And thank you for the silver. Last edit, y'all are giving me too many medals. I am very flattered, but this is going to spoil me. I can answer this one. I did not grow up rich by any means but I would say my family was upper middle class. My husband was born in Nicaragua and eventually moved to Texas where his mother barely scraped by supporting him and his brother. Some of the things that surprised me. He never eats snacks. Ever. They didn't have food in their kitchen and he would go hungry sometimes. He said once they had an egg in the kitchen and he scrambled it and split it with his brother while his mom hungrily looked on. Now as an adult he doesn't understand snacking. If we eat a banana he thinks that is our next meal. He is very impressed with smaller things in life. He had one toy as a kid, truck, and now, anything I get him he thinks is the most amazing thing in the world. He saves everything. He is the hardest worker I know. He never wants to be where he was. He is the most grateful, optimistic person I know. We've been having some problems, family drama, trying to sell our house work stuff etc. He is not afflicted by any of it, he is cool as a cucumber. He always says, did you eat today? Do you have a place to sleep? Does someone love you? Then you are better than most people. I dearly love him. He makes me see the world in a different, better way. I'm from the poorer family, not super poor. But my in-laws have a stupid amount of money so by comparison I'm very poor, but I think I can answer for her. We have two young kids, and my wife was shocked when I said we should look for clothes and toys for them at local flea markets and garage sales. The idea never occurred to her that we could save money by getting some gently used items, she had never even been to a garage sale in her life. She has grown to love them and now questions whether it is worth it to buy any item new or not before running to Amazon or a store. Her parents think it's disgusting we make our kids wear clothes that another child had before, but they don't pay my bills. I came from a relatively wealthy family, new money, my dad started his own business and grew up poor, and my wife came from a lower income blue collar family. We got married out of college and neither made much money in the beginning. My biggest surprise was how she wanted to spend money. She was shocked when my mom bought her dollar $100 plus pair of jeans for a birthday. She couldn't wrap her mind around spending that much on jeans. But she wanted a motorcycle, for me, which I don't ride in the first place. And then a new furniture set. And then a new bed. And then a new car. She wasn't concerned about savings or retirement. And she never wanted my parents' money for any of it, we are both way too proud of that. It took a long time for her to come around to having an emergency savings account, focusing on debt and not needing the other shit. She eventually realized that her parents wouldn't be in such a terrible situation because their spending habits are horrible. She still has it come out sometimes though. We recently paid off my car and she immediately thought I should get a new car. It doesn't directly relate to the amount of money they had, I don't think, but. Their place was always filthy. I mean, dog shit everywhere, my so lived with his mom sometimes, but would rotate between her and his father and both places were this way, dishes piled up, floors were grimy, the places stunk of dog pee and cigarette smoke. One time, 
I used the bathroom at one of his parents' places, and had to spread my feet while sitting on the toilet to avoid stepping in period blood. I mean, it was so disgusting. My so was baffled when, after we first got married and moved in with each other, every day he would come home to a, generally, I'm not perfect, spotless home. Now, on the flip side, I once dated a guy whose stepfather was a lawyer, so they lived a lavish lifestyle. The only thing that he was surprised about when it came to my lifestyle, was that I did not eat pizza with knife, fork, and a glass of wine. LOL. I grew up with a poor family. I was told credit cards were evil and to never get one by my parents. They had this outlook because they were never taught how to properly use them either. When I finally did have to establish credit and got my first one, I didn't overthink it and just followed the rules and paid it off every month. Then they allowed me more and more credit, more and more cards. An emotionally abusive ex would use my cards for everyday living, promising to pay them off with me. Soon the interest started to snowball and before I knew it I couldn't get out from under it. He ghosted me after four years of living together. I was on my own. For about a year I'd get home from work every day and just sob. I was depressed as hell. I met current my boyfriend in the midst of all of this. I noticed him always using credit cards and talking about perks and points. He seemed so responsible in the way he used them. It took me a bit to open up to him about my debt, because I was so embarrassed, and it got to the point I felt like there was a weight on my chest 24-7. The late calls, only paying the minimum on each card every month, barely touching the interest. When I finally opened up to him, he sat down with me and said, We are a team, we'll figure this out together. He helped me go over all of the my interest and cards and see what the best option for me was. He offered to pay it all off with his work bonus that year and I pay him back, but we hadn't been together long, and I didn't love him for his money. I didn't even feel comfortable with him paying for dinner often. I knew I had to get out of this myself. One day when I saw him, he gave me an envelope and told me not to open it till I got home. He gifted me 1000. I did not want to accept it and felt horrible doing so. He told me he hoped it'd help the burden and do with it whatever I wanted, or even something to treat myself since I couldn't do that for so long. I asked him if he minded if I used it to pay for a lawyer to file bankruptcy, he said he'd support me in doing so. I did end up filing. It was scary, but I've never made a better decision in my life. Felt like £1,000 were lifted off my chest. My family is far from rich, but I grew up closer to the upper middle class realm and was making 3x as much as my now husband when we met. He grew up extremely poor, and his family is still living that way. One big difference is how he's surprised that my parents pick up the check when we go out to celebrate a birthday or a graduation, and that my parents ask him to pick whatever restaurant he wants. Outside of the ritziest steakhouse in town, they don't care. To his family, a big meal out is going to McDonald's and not eating off the dollar menu, I'm serious. About to marry him. We met in college and my parents paid for everything while he had student loans and a part-time job to pay for everything else. If he was really hurting, his parents would transfer $40 into his account. But that was pretty rare and they'd give him hell if he asked. He was always very anxious about spending money and never bought name brands. He would also buy essentials like toilet paper by two rolls at a time, one ply only. He didn't really realize that buying so little every few days was wasting money rather than buying in bulk. When we booked our first vacation, cheap road trip to Georgia, he couldn't pay for anything and was worried the whole time. The anxiety that would keep him up at night made me so sad. He still never fills up his gas tank all the way, only $10 at a time. Drives me nuts. But now we both have great full-time jobs and he rarely has any anxiety. He never has to worry about money anymore and is so much happier as a result. 
My wife earned many times more than I did when I was a high school teacher back when we were dating. She sometimes would drive my 10 years old primer black, stick shift Honda Civic that my cousin lent me until I could buy another car. She was blown away how aggressively mean people are to you when you drive an ugly old car. When she got out of the car the spell lifted. I got a lot of respect from her for that. She seemed to think I was a saint for not turning sour over it. I was constantly getting pulled over by cops and let go, targeted by road rage, and also pedestrians felt too comfortable engaging with me. I drive a newer Honda, one year old, now and it is so different. I drive the same but probably drive a bit more aggressively now that I can't hear the wind roaring by when I'm going over 40 miles per hour I haven't been pulled over and haven't had a negative interaction on the road in a long time. Also, my wife now enjoys trading cars with me. My wife genuinely thought, and her family still does, that there is a direct relationship between someone's net worth and the labels they purchase. If someone doesn't have a Gucci bag or a Rolex watch, why, it's because they can't afford it. My wife was astonished when I first told her that people exist that are ultra wealthy and yet drive old cars and wear clothes without labels. I'm from the poor family. For my first car purchase, I went to a dealership and picked out a Honda Civic, and they proceeded to slap on something like a 10% finance rate on that sucker. I saw nothing wrong with it, I was young, I had no idea the typical finance rates, and I had brought my parents with me. Surely they would have raised a red flag if it had been a bad deal? No, I quickly realized later they had absolutely no financial literacy. One of the reasons we were poor, but certainly not the only one, also, I could afford the monthly payments, and that's what really matters, right? I was about a year into it before I did some research, wised up, and paid that thing off ASAP. Drove it for nearly 10 years, ended up being a great car, but I can absolutely understand why people end up in these terrible underwater loans with rates that make your head spin. That was me. And I consider myself a smart person, but financial literacy is a whole separate thing from being smart. A lot of people have this idea that if you're rich, you're automatically smart, and if you make poor financial decisions, you're dumb. Well, both my husband and I make six figures now and I like pulling out this little nugget of info when people start cracking on people making bad decisions and they deserve to be miserable etc. I was like, that was me once. Ironically, once I started making money, I had the ability to take the time to do research and make better decisions because things weren't done at the last second emergency.